A chicken foot two parcels each, you know. Yeah, this are the price for the parcel of chicken foot four dollar eighty eight cent, and this are the ten dollar sixty um one cent. Is it me? You saw me, dear. The man a real is family on YouTube, see. Hey, K and D family. I got dog, man. I take no dog, you know. I miss a carry on the way. I carry on the way. I'm the best. I'm the best thing that happened to YouTube, you know. Put God first, family. But gotta put them family first, you know. Put, put God first, family. Share and subscribe. It's like a movie. Doing a carry, I can start the show. They vlog never come so easy. When they my vlog, them vlog the family. They vlog never come so easy. Put God first, family. Share and subscribe. It's like a movie. They wanna read this family on YouTube, see? Yo, welcome back to our channel, viewers and subscribers. Hope we're having a blessed moment. And make sure so we are do the right thing, which is putting the Almighty first in a everything we do. Give him the driving seat of our life and make him take control. And from the same today, we don't know what time is it. It's all about the vlog world. It's all about vlog time with me, Queen, and Josiah downstairs. Yes, my people, today I'm going to mash up the kitchen. We are cook some stew peas. And the one here is not for all carries for let her go. All right, my people. So I want to like up that video here. Also, subscribe to the channel if you don't subscribe as yet. Turn on your post notification bell so you get notified when Kerry drop there. Banging vlog them. Some of the people are mean in our kitchen today. We have cooked stew peas, we have chicken food, we have beef, and we have um, pig tail, right, baby? Yeah. We have pig tail are going out, is it me? Baby blessing kind of feel cranky because we're going to leave her. Yeah, baby blessing kind of feel cranky because we're going to leave her to the store just now. And a job, a job, a lie. Hush. And guys, we have visitors over today. So you know, me have to step in at the stew peas, make the stew peas taste properly. Is it me? So, I'm to stay tuned for that. I cut up my pig tail and them little chef chefs there. Up. Oh. I have like about um, 10 pieces of pig tail in this. Yeah, 10 to be exact, or about 9 or so. Yeah, I share. I remember a big pot. So I see my stew beef right here, so I have my people with my chicken foot two parcels each, you know? Yeah, this are the price for the parcel of chicken foot, $4.88. And this are the $10.60 um, one cent. You see me? You saw me, dear? Why may I tell you? Because I have two little pieces of anything already. We can some water, you see me? Yeah. This is the amount of peas we may go use with people. You think this is enough? This is like coming out here, this is like coming out of the bag. More than a bag? Yeah. 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 And all of this way out. If you have not think so, baby, it's a whole heap of things. You make it worse. When you say when I dig these, then, then, 
Yeah, you can use a bit when it's when the piece them small and fine, so make it we are seeing this pull up in the pot, baby. So please don't wash your now. Next movement. So so my dash in everything I'm a people, my peas, my beef, I'm a pigtail. I may I drop in some pega garlic in it right now. So see my garlic them the right they saw float pan top. So I just make it go and simmer down now, my people and go and boil and you know what you know the shrimps got already. All who know about stew peas know say everything have to come together one time. So I eat that. I look about some pine and carrot juice um together. You see your sweet pepper Yeah. If me not sit if me not have, have carrot, right baby? Yeah. Alright, so I really a pine and carrot and um, I look about too. Then we have to know if it dies up the pine. Now, here, let me tell you this, you know, guys. You see me? I am a handy man. I am a handy you man. You know, have no use. Carry left, not no carry man. I'm, I'm going out of my kitchen, so. So the peel pine, you know? And then I cut up this put it on the um, people, but I know they're supposed to know if the peel pine closing them here. Yeah, me have a me this is for carry. So I cut up this put it at the fridge now for the kids then. You dig it, man, so they can have pineapple for us eat. Then I go boil the skin then, my people. After I boil the skin no, then, don't climb over blend here. them up, you see me I say? Yes, I extract the juice from it, you see? So, that's how I go on to them. You know me always I make my little beverage then straight, you know? My guys. I'm going to work for the end of 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 the you gonna hurt yourself. I'm not going to push on it. 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 So this is for the kids and it's like right in the fridge Like smacking at the middle of half a tree So when they are cool my paper When they get cool in the fridge Wow Oh I'm going to ask me Guys you don't like my arrangement What do you think about it? So as we tell you before, oh, I never see the little clip when I went in Abbey Lobby. So these are what I came up with. Oh, you never tell me if you like it or what? Mm -hmm. so, right. so guys, I'm going to boil right now. And normally people that bled with a boiling ginger with this type of thing to my people or everything, but guess what I know? I like blend up my ginger them, you know? Yeah, I like blend up my ginger them different and I like boiling in a this skin. So come down if you want to. So remember you have to wash the skin then. 
not with soap do you know because some on here must wash the skin them and we're gonna use soap salt seal to wash the skin them so now we are make it go on, um make it go on boil yeah So this is what I get at the restaurant last night, fried chicken and rice and peas. I'ma bring them home because the appetizer was so much. Some big heavy wings look like duck. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I go have my people all that dealing. As you can see, when the day I get forget the full cooking video because yesterday was really hectic. When I say hectic, it hectic. What? Yo, it not spoiled doing. I'm a stew piece. They banging. When I say my stew piece banging, my stew piece loud. <laughs> but one pot of the rice, them never um, it never do good because I put too much rice in the pot. Cause a lot of people um did for come over. We are gonna touch on that little bit. A lot of people did for come over for dinner and um, a lot of people never turn up. You see me? They make me cook my stew peas. And things say I tie me, I tie them when I let me, I let them go. You dig with me, I say? <laughs> you see me, yeah. The pot of stew peas, there was a Lego pot of stew peas, and nobody no turn up. I just, um, one, um, set of family, which is Sean, them turn up and enjoy the stew peas and thing. Crystal coming at the morning for fear, stew peas, and we have a portion of stew peas left back in there. You see me, and me not like it. Me not cook so much food again until me know say people them there. You see me, me not, I'm, I'm, mm. right now, me have too much food in the house there, and it's go waste. I mean, eat waste food. That are one of the biggest in them because you have people out there one off and not say the biggest one off. Because you have people out there actually hungry and need food. So I don't like to waste food, my people. When I say don't like to waste food, but don't like to waste food. But my day I an idea, my people, just say so them out there saw play. Queen upstairs I go and chill out. I think she depends on some live, I think. So I come here now for address a little thing to talk about a little situation when I see I go on, you see me? Um me sit down and me see it on the news where a little kid, someone, um a little kid step on a next kid clocks and then the next kid beat him and put him in a co some coma or something like that guys and this is what I always talk about and people always I say um me talk, me talk too bias and this and that. Listen to me guys, you have some kids we're not for day in a school. You have some kids who are not supposed to be in school. Back then in Jamaica, you used to have a program like boot camp where your, your kids go about them learn the same way. Right, before we get into that, my people, we could talk about the little youth then. The little youth is injured, my people. When I say injured, him injured bad. Injured bad, and him family might raise some money for him and it drop in my hand. I would have loved if everybody can go in my comment section and look you see a pin link more on to the click that link there and donate at least a dollar my people the um the website is real helping hands you see me so more on to the top the link guys in my comment section and just donate a dollar my people for help out that little youth there you see me can just imagine you send your youth go to school and they make a mistake and then beat him to frazzle and put him in a hospital them thing they not work them thing they not work none at all I mean, so the mother said she gets so fed up and tired that I'm a turn, she turn him in. That now go build a good youth. He might go build a, that build a monster. Them jailers they are Jamaica. When you put a youth in a jailhouse of Jamaica, it don't make them better, it make them worse because there's no um, program set there for them. Jamaica used to have a thing with them call um, proof school. When you go there, so you have to wake up early in the morning time, go class, go school. Yeah. Them learn maths, them learn English, them go to school, them have to keep them room clean, them have to make sure them shoes clean. Them program not the day of Jamaica again. So we use them bound for suffer. We use them bound for grow for be violent. The, the violent one them will never change. Them are just always be violent. And we there Jamaica and we are fight for so much foolishness. And we now fight for the real thing. We are fight for which um politicians supposed to lead the country. And we now fight for we youth them. We now fight for we youth them future. Because the same bad kids them have a future too. The same bad kids them have a future too. But what happened when time them parents can't deal with them? We will send them go jailhouse. We will send them go prison. It now help them. 
Because there's no program set in prison to help them and in jailers to help them because they move through school. We usually make sure so the youth them come from through school with education, come out with a skill and come out with a full brain when you say, yo, me have to behave myself as a this or me are going in next to prison. But we get rid of all of them things from out of the country and we as Jamaicans we now fight for that. So we pick them can better. So we have got always have the little menace them are coming at the school, send them go to jail, then them turn out to be gunman and gun girl. So my mother jail or scare help your son. It only gonna make him worse. We have to try to find programs for these youth where we were rude at and the next one then we don't want to obey by the rules and the laws. I'm telling you every day, guys, on the need for stand up for something. On the need for stand up for something. On the care and us a fall for everything, so. We have to stand up for something. All we child and future is going to be better. A politics time now. Who no I go vote for? Rice, flour, and sugar. That we are going to vote for. Raise a pay, and as you pay, raise them, raise back everything so the pay gone back to the same thing. Who do not realize what I go on? Who do not fight for the kids, them future for better? Fight for infrastructure for the kids, them so the kids them can grow up. Can you believe some of them and this reach by my desk? Real helping, and I send me a link, so listen to me. I want you to try to raise some funds for this little youth here, yeah? and a school this little youth here yeah, get damaged, so school, school. First of all, no man is supposed to wear no clocks go to school. School is supposed to set a rules. You wear a uniform and your shoes are supposed to be a uniform too. Just like if you are going to work and you are working at an institution and you have to wear a hard boot. The company provide the hard boot and you have to pay for the hard boot because they want one brand of shoes coming at them place. This is how school is supposed to stay. But when you yeah, go to school in our thirty thousand dollar shoes, and next kid, this is all bullies and them thing that come in my people, because kids go to school go worship vanity. Kids go to school go worship vanity, and look who are wear this from, who now wear that, and a plague up on the youth them were less fortunate. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to sit down and make with kids them just wither away in our country because I feel we country, you know. I feel we country. So we're going to sit down and make the youth them just wither away so to crime and violence. And the one them when to deal with crime and violence, we're going to make the youth them just take them lives so, and I'm damage them future. We need to stand up for something, my people. We need to stand up for school. We need to get busy. We need to make school no so no rules and laws them are get shaky. Man are walking at school with big dunce bag on them back. Is that a school you're going into? Is that a school you sending your child to? The parents them who actually see them child or buy that bag for the child or see them child bag, buy that bag. Who no feel alright sending this child going to a learning institution with that bag? We no okay with everything. We no take school for dance. We no take school food for going out. School enough for learn again. Oh dear, the oh people them send them picnic to school. Oh dear, the people them send them picnic to school and get cast of them picnic in a, in, in, in a coma and look, look, looking like that because him step on a next child. Because this is not a big man clocks him step on. It's a next child clocks him step on. And that child is so aggressive and violent. Him, yo, if you yo, me say, some of the time me are telling them my people, man, it's devastating sometimes. And why it have to reach by my desk? Because you know why? Father God knows that me always talk about these things. Me always talk about these things. When I get up every day and I run, go rally. When I get up every day and I run, go do this. What, what, me, me, this is one question I ask Jamaican people. What are you guys really want? What change you guys want in Jamaica? Who don't no look for change for yourself? Who don't no look for changes for yourself? 
We don't look changes for the coming future. We don't look changes for the, for the great grandparents that we are not born yet. We don't look changes for them things there. We don't look changes for ourselves. When we're telling this, no for no go dead, left the country and run bad if we don't try to change it now for our great grandparents them. We don't ball back for some infrastructure for the youths them. Jamaica wasn't like this, my people. The youths them get so much fighting at the country. It will come like a World War III. The youth them are fight. Because why? We big people. Because I be a rice and flour on the vote for. I be a razor pay on the vote for. I don't understand. Say as the pay raise, rice and flour raise. So it come like it never make no sense to pay the raise. No one no pile up this youth and send him to a jail house. Where my God jail house go do? Is either my God go make man beat him? I'm a God eh? and him a come out bad and a beat man too because me go to jail in Jamaica. So I know what I talk about. So the need for no war now nah, do my people. No more kid no fear face it's a little juvenile face it what the year and see it come up my again. So how much time this ago happen? How much time it ago happen before everybody come together? Uno protest for uno pro uno protest for celebrity, uno protest for this, uno need to start protest for a better schooling system. We don't need to start protests for a better schooling system. So food no picnic can come out and feel safe when time when you let out on the picnic you know so the picnic safe and road at the oh, you see church and school, that is the only place a picnic is supposed to feel one hundred percent safe when them leave your home. And right now is the two worst place right now, all oh, them are do the thing. Teacher lose control of school. Principal lose control of school. Nobody now want to be intelligent again. Every life me go up and everywhere me go, somebody has something bad for talk about schooling. Because them see the little man them with dunce and can't read. They on social media and make money. Bro, let me tell you this from now. The only thing lasts forever is salvation. So now watch how time I make fee money. You might not lucky so. Education is the key. Back then people usually say education is the key. Right now people are telling us straight. Hey, edu go education. Because we see the whole of the done said them a scam and I make beer money, they pan social media, I make beer money, but you know, see no done said a liar and doctor. You know, see no done said a liar and doctor. You know, see no done said a judge. But you can't see one done said sit up on the internet about me not, a back of the class me did death. I mean, I, I, I'm successful. I'm successful. And where, where, where? What is success, bro? What do we consider as success? $50 million in your account, that's not success, bro. Success to me is when I'm my family healthy. Both spiritually, mentally, and physically. And emotionally, when I say my family, me, my wife, and my kids, they're my immediate family. You think if me did don't, I could have teach my kids their morals and standard. Most of them people who are talking about education is not them, they have a reasonability. Them don't even have reasonability. The other day, I tell them, I say, I say, Pitney for go college. And you hear them say, No. College take away your money. Where, where, where? Because when you're done college, you don't have no job. You turn where, 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 where? And you turn this and you turn that. Listen to my people. Knowledge is the key to success. Not because you go to college for turn doctor and you can't get no doctor work. You go sit down with your knowledge. Because you have knowledge. 
we go school for. Some of we don't even want to finish high school again because we have, we, we have a little skill. So we start from high school because the skill make we have money. But all the world around, most of we have with skill and we keep on getting short paid. We keep on getting robbed out there as a man with skill. Because you know why? We don't have no education. Because you don't make people tell you, say, oh, me have a skill. Me don't have to go to school. People go to school for make money and my skill and make me make money. People don't go to school for make money. For know for make money. People go to school for go learn, for have education, for have wisdom and knowledge. And then when you come when you come out with that wisdom and knowledge, you make it make use with that wisdom and knowledge. That is what school for. So when you want to hear no man come come and tell it them boy. When you have your skill, you don't need schooling, you need schooling. Because if people go into contracts, you don't even know if you read a contract. 95% of them trade money, you don't even know to read a contract. Only thing they need to do is lay black. So people will always go into all contracts. Most of them bad money can't even read. I think that that's why they always sentence themselves. So schooling is a must, guys. We need to vote for the school, them clean up. We need to vote for teacher get back control of school. We need to vote for principal get back control of school. And tap go sit down in a conference and I think about foolishness, about raise up your rice and flour and salt. That shall come once you're working. Try to have a better future for our kids, them our great grand picnic them. And that we fear look for now. No found a 40, 50 and down still I look raise a pee and raise a flower. If we never get it 9 30 and the 40, I know we're not gonna get it. We to create havoc for infrastructure for the youth them. Create havoc for jobs for your implement for the youth them. We are come out of college can get. What we are talking about? Some people we need to start make the teachers them and the principal them get back control of school them time they know we now gonna have no picnic a beat up no picnic but no step on no shoes gonna dance with that and a dance with that we are like we are like a 17 year old youth i do it one fifty or thousand of shoes on him foot you are teaching the picnic them for teeth school need dress code and that shows everybody have to buy for wear come at school. That shows that. So you don't look more than nobody. Everybody is one because school teachers love and unity. Unity. That's why they have uniforms. Uniforms. So everybody look uniform. Everybody look together. Everybody look like one. But no fun in go like what I'm saying. No. Because you don't want to make sure you say pitney look different from other people pitney. No for no make sure that. No for no grow no pitney them for live above them means. No for no never make no pitney no say me can buy a twenty four thousand sneakers and say I go dead for hungry. We no go buy the sneakers and then we no butter butter and take one and two man for get back a food in our house. So no already a teaching no pitney for live above them means because you live above year one. So as when I say my people, the link for the youth will get him face mash up because he, he, he step on a man clock. The link for him real helping hands guys where they might um, raise money for him. It then I'm a comment section my people. You see me want everybody right for this because as I say, I school them something at me now. So I want everybody right for this because drop a dollar over there. Just click the link in my comment section my people. I'm going to put it in my comment section so click the link. The real helping hands, they much I raise money for him when he can do him like a thing. You understand me? I say because it, it, it look away when them send me the picture, me, me, me cut up. Me cut up. When I say cut up, me cut up. Because a lot of people now go take them thing there, knowing that them send them youth to school and them youth coming home. Look, not, they're not even coming home. Them get a phone call, you they're at the hospital. When you got the hospital at a condition there, why this happen to your youth? Because him step on somebody's shoes. After the Baghdad with it, after the Iraq the youth them live, we live at Jamaica. 
the land of food and water, land of free. That means they could have killed the youth you know, over the shoes, you know. And then we sit down and then we ball. We need to start vote for something and stop vote for rice and flour and sugar and raise a pay. I'm a non stop telling you that. Stop vote for them thing there. Because they're gonna realize I have 500 years now and I see them thing we vote for. And we never get it yet from none of the party them. We not get nothing from none of them. Over the years, we not get nothing from none of them. Them not do nothing for we. Them not do nothing for we youths them growing up. So on the thing corner of them people, fight for the youths them. Fight for the future. We done gone through the gate already. God bless the few who come out of poverty down at that. And them never born in our riches. Them next sure say Jamaica run off a class. Classism. The poor stay poor, the rich get richer. Start vote for something, my people. Start vote for you with them. So as I say this to say that, guys, remember, the link for the youth, for the little youth, my people, I could help him out. I could help out this juvenile. I could help him out so he can go sit down back in a school and be somebody in a life. I could go down in the comment section and go take out the link, guys. I could go click the link. I could go click the link in the comment section, my people, and put even one dollar in it. I could have your son. I could have my son. I could have your neighbor's son. I could have, son. I could have your cousin's son. I could have your little cousin. I could have your little brother. I could have your uncle. <clears throat> so let us do the right thing, my people. Do the right thing. And stop follow back of people. Stop follow. Just do the right thing, guys. Do the right thing, man. Grow the youths in my country how they're supposed to grow. Make the government build somewhere where the little youth them have rehabilitation. Make them build them things there for the youth them. Can't have the youth them a widow so in a life, man. I want to tell you, man, I'm tired for see the little youth them just a widow so and I go to the waste. Who not turn gun man a turn waste man? Who not turn waste man a turn thief, scammer? Come on guys, the few look a good one them I get prayed up on. I could do better man. Big up on yourself doing them people and as I say, stay positive and stay focused. Keep on the eyes on the prize and the prize is salvation. You see me? And remember guys, go in the comment section and take out the link. I could help out the juvenile. I beg you to help them out. I think uh, I think uh, 10,000 US them I look So I could just help them out my people The link in my comment section So go dig it down up guys So big up on yourself And stay tuned for the next vlog in here You know the thing where I just address the situation them As them come And remember God is love Bring back the youth them to Sunday school That is it